you can. Engine, windows open. Can I go home? Let's take her home. She could use it. Alright. It's been a minute since the last video. Since then, there's been a few things that have happened. I fought the next level Ebola, COVID, Ligma sickness, all three in one, that almost killed me and sent me to see the ancestors of my generation. Two, I think I may have screwed up my wrist that I got surgery on way back when. Same thing with my knee, left knee, when I ran that shamrock run. I'm starting to feel a pain that I hadn't felt up until bef that I hadn't felt before I got the surgery. I think I worded that right. I think it makes sense. It does in my mind and when I said it I kind of felt iffy about it but regardless we got a few things to talk about but right now I gotta go and make this payment that my mom told me to do otherwise I'm getting sent to the gulag so up until then let's go make this quick trip and let's pay this bill what's up I think grapes wouldn't be a bad idea if I'm like this dude is named Rubus Adius Ideas Ideas Assorted. <laughs> Whatever that means. I probably pronounced that all wrong. 998 for some strawberries. Oh, and it's already growing. Look at that. What else they got? So just right here. got some new additions in terms of plants that I got the other day when I was out paying a bill at Home Depot. We got a few things to talk about. So in terms of pain, straight after that marathon, I was in a little bit of pain. The run was solid. Great, great bit of uh, running that I needed to do right felt great but if I'm being honest I was treating that run kind of like a blueprint for how uh, life is going to treat me like there's a lot of people that I got ahead of within that race within the first half and then in the second half not even the second half but then um within like uh, two, three miles in, four miles in, I uh, burnt out. The dude that I was falling behind for a bit and just trailing was a beast. I could not keep up for the life of me, and the dude left me in the dust. I couldn't keep up. I was a little bit ashamed, but it was to be expected. I knew deep down that it was going to happen eventually that I would burn out and I wouldn't be able to keep up kudos to that guy you were an amazing person to follow for like four miles up until like you just dusted me and continue to keep going and 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 not stop like bro what that's what's up bro just before the race started i had felt issues with my knee the same knee that i got a surgery on right which is not good it wasn't bad but it was just like, man, I should probably consider not running it. Given that I hadn't even bought my ticket up until like day of. Or like two, three days just before the actual race. For a bit now too as well. I had, um. I was working out one day. And I allowed a weight to pull me. When I was lifting. And when it did that. It had uh, popped something out of place. I'm sure of it. I already have a doctor's appointment down for the future. But since that day when it happened, I knew I messed something up. Because when I looked at myself in the mirror, 
something wasn't right. I had a, a bone pop, or something was popping out of place on this side, and it was much more elevated up than this side right here. And when I looked at it, I was like, bro, that's not right. I had like a stretch, and like I felt something just pop. And since that day, bro, in my back on my left side, it just doesn't feel right. <sighs> on top of that, on top of that, besides just two, there's a third thing. My wrist, the one that I had surgery on, in the past, the only thing I can think of that triggers a little bit of the pain that I felt way before I got this surgery, for those that don't know, I've had a few surgeries, two to be exact. I'm fearful of there being a third with the one in my, you know, the back situation that I just caused myself. I went out skating with a friend. When I went out skating, I fell. I had the proper gear, but I remember falling in such a way to where like my wrist popped. Since my surgery, I've never had my wrist pop in such a way. So now at this point, I'm just like, bro, when I did that, did I screw up my wrist in a way that I wasn't supposed to? And I was like, boy, man, tough, tough luck, tough situation. Not exactly the situation I want to be in to where this is giving me issues. This is giving me issues. And now my back is giving me issues. The reason I didn't record and get something up Saturday or Sunday when I should have, bro, I got hit with like a hybrid version of Ebola that almost took me out. This junk was strong, bro. And when I mean strong, I mean strong. Like I'm talking about this sickness had it been presented a couple decades earlier, it would have wiped out a couple of generations of people, man. You know, I got lucky that I was able to fight it off. And, you know, being the GOAT, I lived. But, bro, that shit was strong. Body aches, headaches, night sweats. You name it, bro. Fucking nightly demonic possessions. That shit was damn near about to kill me. But it didn't. Also, my most hated part. I'm currently working at the airport and at the airport they run things a little bit different let's have a little story time when i first started working there things were smooth and easy going you know not exactly smooth but when i first started working there they were morning shifts because the person that i tried under had morning shifts with certain days off right get further down the line and i have to bid for my shift and I was under the impression that I was full-time, but they had told me, hey, when you uh, went for this job, you went under part-time. Would you like to stay part-time or would you like to go full-time? And two, three times they asked me this, and every time I was like, yeah, let me get full-time, 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 full-time. Bro, day comes up where we got a shift bid, which means like, you know, you got to bid for your shift out of like a couple of few options that you do have with like a couple different people that you got to compete against you know because there's like uh they have a seniority list and me being where i'm at i'm at the very bottom of it so i don't exactly get the the best most luxurious um first time around i call i'm under the impression that i'm full-time and when i call i'm with confidence i'm looking i'm I have all the confidence in the world, so I'm like looking at this list of what's available, and I was like, oh yeah, full-time this, full-time, 301, this is what I want, this is what I'm going to get, easy, easy money, like, I have confidence, I still see it, it's still available, I call, bam, hey yo, can I get full-time 301, yeah, alright, cool, yeah, bam, peace, they call me back, hello, uh, yeah, so it turns out, you're not full-time, but you're actually part-time, part, they give me the options, which were like two that were available. And I get lucky with what it was that I get, which is like four to 10. And then there was like another one, but given that I was on the spot, I was like, bro, let me just get what it is that I can get and just get it over with. Cause I, 
at this point. I'm still bamboozled. I'm still baffled. I'm still flabbergasted. I'm still hooly booly still. Anyways, this time around comes again. And we got a shift bid. And when you shift bid, um, typically they give you some information that you need. Let's just say I didn't have that information at the ready. When the time comes around, I'm trying to call, trying to call, and I needed some certain information, a password, if you will, to get into the room. Didn't have it. Luckily, I had filled out a paper with shift bids that I wanted, put five down. Bro, my luck was so damn crap. Them five shift bids that I chose were all took. And then on top of that, I couldn't get into this shifted room to call so <clears throat> I had like a five minute window to get in missed that now at this point I'm putting all my my prayers into a paper that I turned in all five of those took in bro and now today is April 2nd I have up until April 9th when I'm recording this is April 2nd I have up until April 9th till my new shift bid you know I'm still part time that's not the issue but now I gotta start getting accustomed to working 3.30 p.m. to 12 in the morning boy when I tell you that some of the worst days came from working that night shift bro that day shift over the, the airport man i felt like my life was wasting away i felt like i wasn't doing anything productive basically your boy was going through his own little miniature trial of depression while working i don't know what that dog is barking about but he's barking about something anyways there might be an adjustment period it's a little quick small one of me adjusting to it originally when i came across the news that i got what i got i'm not even gonna lie it was tragic like i felt defeated because it was just like man at this point what's the point of summer for me this time around right but i still have thursdays fridays and saturdays off so I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I'm not gonna lie. When I first got that information, I was like, man, like, there's no point of a summer for me at this point. But I still got them three days. Get up early, well, the earliest that I can. <sighs> get these videos done. Uh, yeah. Straight after that Shamrock run situation, bro, sickness hit. Fucking knee, wrist, back, new shift bed, things just went uphill with the victory and being able to accomplish and then <laughs> I just got hit with like the trials of like, I don't even know, I know, I know, but yeah, that's just a quick update and letting you guys know what it is, yeah, if you guys are going to work a job, make sure you you enjoy it. I enjoy this job, but bro, the one thing I don't like about this job is them shift bids. I'm gonna be working this new shift for like five to six months. And if I get lucky and I can land the morning shifts again, I'm in the money. But up until then, there goes my summer to an extent.